If you're running Dynamics 365 online, you can take advantage of Microsoft Flow's HTTP request action to create leads in Dynamics 365. A free trial of Dynamics 365 is available for development purposes at trials.dynamics.com. In this tutorial, we'll use an invaluable API developer tool called Postman, which is free to download at www.getpostman.com. Within your flow interface, clicking on My Flows, let's create one from a blank. There's no need to use a template. On the next page, click on the link at the bottom that says Search Hundreds of Connectors and Triggers. Then on the search page, use the keyword Request. And then within the results, click on Request when an HTTP request is received. In the action details, copy and paste the following JSON schema into the request body field. This schema includes the required fields for a lead in Dynamics 365. Notice that the schema spe specifies the object type, the properties, and each of these fields corresponds to the field name within Dynamics 365. Now click on the New Step button, and then select Add an Action. In the search field, enter the keyword Response. And then in the search results, find the result that says Request-Response. Here, we're going to want to add a single header for the content type and give it a value of application slash JSON. You can keep the status code as 200 and then in the body field, you can just give it a simple status of success. And this is what will be returned when the request comes in. Now click the Save Flow button. Now once saved, if you scroll up and open the request, you'll see that the post URL has been generated by Flow. Now let's talk about Postman. I mentioned Postman is an API developer tool that you can get for free at www.getpostman.com. And once installed, you'll open it and this is what it looks like. We'll just skip the login. Close those windows. And then we'll set up the interface. We're going to want to post to that URL that Flow generated. So let's go back to Flow and copy the URL, open back up Postman, we're going to change the, ver the, the verb to post, then paste the URL into the field, then we're going to want to add a header. The header is going to be the content type of application slash JSON. And then click on the body tab. Values, you want to select raw. And then copy and paste or enter in the following information. We're going to fill in each field like topic, say Return of the Jedi, give it a first name, Darth, last name, Vader, with the email address that's something made up. And this is a JSON. A valid JSON value. Everything looks right. You can now click the send button. Let's go back to flow. We'll see that it succeeded. Click on the run history. We 
can see that it, what was received, Return of the Jedi, Darth Vader, and then show the response of success. So now that we know that it works, let's modify our flow and clicking on the edit flow button. And then in between the request and response actions, we're going to click on this plus sign and in the menu, we're going to select add an action. Then in the keyword, in the search, let's type in the keyword dynamics. Oops, better spell it right. We'll select Dynamics 365. And then we'll choose the one that says Create a New Record. In the Organization field, we're going to select your organization. And then in Entity Names, we'll find Leads. And then we'll match up the fields. So in the Last Name field, if you click on the last name, we'll scroll down and find in the dynamic content, last name. In the email field, we'll select email. In the topic field, we'll do topic. And in the first name, you guessed it, first name. Now let's do update flow. And then we can go back and then rerun it. So we'll just hit the run history and then do resubmit. And then we can actually watch it. We get a check mark. It says that it did create it. jump back to Dynamics 365 under Sales and Leads. We'll refresh it and there's Darth Vader. There you have it.